So good evening. We will uh, start. This is a thermal imaging core, as I said, uh, developed by Digital Core Technologies. So in the talk, we will have introduction about the SOC, the onboard resources we have on the system on module which we have developed, and the carrier board options, followed by the thermal imaging core which we have developed, and a brief about our company, our team. That's what we'll be covering. Please feel free to come and take your seat. This is uh, the uh, RISC V SOC five core, actually four cores are 64 bit high end application core and one monitoring core on the same chip with a quite large FPGA fabric on the AXI fabric, and then DDR plus peripherals and associated on the chip. They have a series of devices, FPGA SOC. Currently, this is the one which is available as a production version. In the, this quarter, it was available as production version. And there's another one coming up in Q3 or Q4. It's a lower end, slightly lower end one. For this thermal core, which we are demonstrating here, actually this is good enough. But since the availability of this chip, we have ported currently on that. So that's the one which is available there. And there's a system on module, the first, uh, first SOM based on RISC-V core was developed by us which is also available in our chaos here. It has got the SOC plus Wi-Fi, EMMC, SPI, DDR. So basically a, a single board computer which is required for building any applications on this. So this also will be covering briefly on that. And this is the picture of that. We have two sides of it. All the external interfaces brought on to the B2B connector, including the gigabit Ethernet and the uh, high-speed serial peripherals. And it also has got a built-in Wi-Fi, and it's 55 by 75 mm size. This is the system on module, which is what's shown there. So the use cases anticipated for this, it's as a general purpose development platform for any uh, proof of concept development validation, we can use it. Even it can be used for low volume production with a custom carrier board where we can have our peripherals required. Or if the production volume build up, we can have customized the whole design based on the requirements. So any of these options we can you use it from there, derive it from there. And that's what about the platform which we have. And this is about the thermal imaging. You have seen the thermal imaging is a very, uh, I mean, it just, it's a long time back that has been introduced, but now it has become more affordable and more use cases coming up with that one. If you just see the spectrum of electromagnetic waves, this is the visible range which we use for normal cameras and the infrared range. Out of that, this is the one which is used as a thermal vision site, that is long wave IR, basically the reflected heat. We also radiate heat as long wave IR. That's what is used for the thermal imaging, uh, for the night visions or even industrial purposes. So this is the one which we'll be discussing. This sample video, a normal camera and thermal camera in the night which it, how it sees. So this is based on the same thermal camera which we have taken. It can see the night, even to some extent of fog. So it's early morning with a little bit of fog, whereas we can see very clearly on the thermal imaging. You can even see me breathing, <laughs> the heat. So for this, this is the sensor, the uh, thermal imaging sensor, uncooled 
bolometer which we used to develop this is this Lindred Pico 640, 640, 480, quad VGA resolution. This is where we have implemented the thermal imaging pipeline, the ISP, primarily on the FPGA. And then the processed video comes back. On, currently, we have just put it on the HDMI. That's what is being demonstrated there in, my, in our kiosk, which you can have a look at it. This is just bas basic element in the thermal ISP, typical elements. If you see the output from sensor, it will be just very plain one. So that's where the tone, after tone mapping, it starts getting more clearer. And then few process in the pipeline like tone mapping, non-uniformity correction, image enhancements. So that is where you get, get a clear picture of the image. And subsequently, as record, you can add color palette. So this is the currently implemented image pipeline on this system on module. And RISC-V does the management of pipeline and also the configuration of sensor, etc. So the device which we have used, if you see the resources utilized for the current pipeline. You can see basic ISP only 8% of the FPGA resources. And if you add CLAHE or DD digital enhancements, it can go up to about 20%. Remaining about 80% resource still available for any kind of additional image processing or maybe artificial intelligence A or ML based image processing. So a lot of resource available. SRAM about, again, 90% SRAM available. If you see the DSP blocks, about 80% is still available. So a lot of room for additional image processing algorithms and usage. As I said, the use case, this is one where we have a thermal imaging uh, carrier board. So these two can make us a development platform for validation of the system. This is a small form factor, same functionality, complete thermal camera core. Just you can add the proxy board as an additional one. So there the size can be much more uh, compact. When it comes to OEM, we go for custom PCBs. So that's the size on a comparative scale. Now coming to our company, our team. We basically offer electronics design services as our uh, offering with the vision of creating a world-class designs for products of the world and quality by design. That's what our uh, motto. So we offer end-to-end -end product development service, electronics hardware, FPGA logicware, embedded software, and even the user interface and application software associated with the products. This is where our partners, clients in US and Europe, various uh, continents. We are a design partner of microchip uh, RISC-V ecosystem, MI5 ecosystem. And as part of that is what we developed this board using the early samples from microchip. So this is our team, and that's where our office. And thank you for listening. And if any questions, please feel free. We can discuss. I can take you back to the slides and answer your questions, if any.